Hey folks, this is Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook. And today I wanna to show you all about Drive Slides. This is a new Chrome extension, Google Chrome web browser extension that Alice Keeler and I recently created. And what it will do is it will take pictures in a folder in your Google Drive. And it'll take all of those pictures and it'll put each one onto a Google slide presentation slide. And so you'll get one slide per image. It's quick, it's easy, and there are lots and lots of activities that you can do in the classroom using that. And so I wanna show you kind of the step-by-step -step of how to get it on there and how to use it. So we've got a Google Chrome web browser open right here. And so we're going to go and add those two Chrome or add that this Chrome extension and another one that you're going to want to use too. So I'm going to click on the three dots over here on the right, more tools and extensions. And this is where you can see all the extensions that you have installed. And you can click get more extensions down here at the bottom. You can do this by going to the Chrome Web Store too. That's just as easy a way to, to find it. But once you're here, the first thing you want to do is you want to install drive slides. We're going to type in drive slides. It's all one word and you hit add to Chrome and add the extension and then you'll see up here in the top right there's the little button and so we're just gonna close this little bubble out here and we're gonna leave this. Now there's a second extension that makes things super easy too and that is add to Google Drive. If you don't have this one already, this is a really nice one. Oh, save to Google Drive. <laughs> okay, so you want to use save to Google Drive. And so we click add to Chrome here and add extension and we're going to have that one up here too. Okay, so we're just going to leave those two little icons right over there. We can close out these tabs now that we've had those added to our Google Chrome browser. And so now we need some images. Since Drive Slides is going to add images to a slide presentation, we need to get some images. Now you can obviously use images that you've already got in your Google Drive if you want to. But we're going to imagine that for this activity that we're going to have students go and research a topic and they need to find three pictures and three facts about some topic that we're going to be discussing in class just to kind of let them do a little of the investigation before we actually start the activities of the class. So being a Spanish teacher and having visited Uruguay at one point in my life, I'm going to say that I'm in class and I'm asking kids to do a little bit of research on Uruguay. So they do a basic Google Images search about Uruguay. Now, if you see all of these pictures down here, we're not exactly sure about the usage rights, like which ones of these pictures do we have the rights to use? Because sometimes with copyrighted images, we technically don't have them. And if we want our students to be good digital citizens and to respect people's intellectual property rights, then we want them to actually use pictures that they have the right to use. So I'm going to click on the search tools button here and under usage rights, I'm going to click labeled for non-commercial, no labeled for reuse with modification. That's the one that gives us the most permission, the most things that we can do with them. So we know that m these pictures here should have, we should have the rights to be able to use them. And so, I've got all of these pictures that I can start using. So I'm going to, let's click on this one right here. There's a picture of Montevideo at night. So here's what I do to get these into my, into my Google Drive real easily, is I'm gonna right click, or if you're on a Mac or Chromebook, it's two finger tap. And we're gonna go save to Google Drive. And we wanna make sure that we save the image. And so there it goes. On another screen, it's asking me to allow the use of Google Drive, which I did. Okay, so now it's saving this picture into my Google Drive. And as soon as it's done, I just close this. If you want to rename the file name, then you can definitely do that too. Okay, let's grab a picture of the map. So we're going to save that one to Google Drive too. Super easy. Remember the activity was to find three pictures and three facts, right? Okay, and so then let's do a picture of the beach. How about that? So we have this picture here. We're gonna right click again 
save the image to Google Drive. Boom, boom, boom. Now it's done. Okay, so we've saved these three pictures into Google Drive. Now watch how easy this is. I'm going to go over to my Google Drive and I'm going to hit Recent. And we should have, once it loads up, there are those three pictures that we just recently added, right? So check this out. I'm going to highlight all three of these. I'm just using the Shift button. And then if I right click here, I'm going to move them into a new folder. Now before you do that, okay, see how I went back to my drive. That's kind of like the, the base part of drive. We've got this little button down here that says new folder. So I'm going to call this Uruguay pictures and create the folder. So now that we're here in the Uruguay Pictures folder, you'll notice up here in the top right that the little drive slides icon is in color. Before it was in gray because we weren't on a page that had a Google Drive folder open. So now we've got a page with a Google Drive folder open and now Drive Slides is ready to go into action. So all we do is we click on it. And once we click on it, look what it's done. It took all three of those pictures out of that folder and it pulled them into a slide presentation. So we can see one there, and then there's the beach picture that we pulled up, and then there's the night sky picture that we pulled up. And so now that we're in here, what we can do is we can start adding text. So if we wanted to write text, let's say even we move this picture over to the right giving us a little bit of space over here on the left so we can put a text box and and we can start talking about this is the skyline of Montevideo the capital of Uruguay at night so we can do that or we can even come over here now check this out if we use the shapes and we draw in a shape instead of a text box it gives us this white background which of course we can change to whatever color it is that we want double click on it now you've got a text box in there now that's actually legible on top of the picture this is a beach in Uruguay I know that's not a very specific thing I would want my students to be much more specific and much more detailed than that and then of course we can come up here We'll move this over. Now one of the other things that I love to be able to do with these shapes is to come down to the callouts and I can use the speech bubbles or even the thought bubbles. So look at this. It looks kind of like the thought bubbles that you see in comic strips and so I can double click on it and it's just like a text box too. And so now this could be what my students are thinking about when they see this. This flag resembles the United state's flag with the stripes. It's missing the union with the stars though. And so see there are lots of ways that we can add different things into these pictures. And so this is just kind of the beginning, the jumping off point to all sorts of activities. And in my Drive Slides blog post that you can find at ditchthattextbook.com, just go over to the search bar and search for Drive Slides, all one word, then you'll be able to see lots of other different activities that you can do with Drive Slides. So that's sort of an introduction to how to get Drive Slides put onto your Chrome browser and a way that you can get some pictures added into slides. Hope that was useful for you and I'll see you on the next video.